Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Sami Fadl al Thaqafi. We will talk today in our topic about virus A resistance and COVID 19 and their treatment. This topic is very important and fits our time now. I hope you all, after fin finish this presentation, understand what is the concept of virus. And this, uh, this is the name of the students that participate in this presentation. This is our objective today. Number one, recognize virus A and 150 cavity. Number two, describe in one H 274 Y resistance to ozertimafir. Number three, discuss and list the new derivative act on 115 KPT. Number four, identify the COVID-19 and treatment. Number five, identify the 371 KPT and describe resistance to N1H275. Why? Uh, number six, discuss and list the new derivative act on the 300 71 cavity number seven recognize the 340 cavity Num number eight discuss and list the new derivative act on the 340 cavity uh, okay in this slide i will talk introduction about the virus the viral membrane contains two important surface lipoprotein uh, neuroaminidase and hemagglutinin neuroaminidase contain a lipid subtype and hemagglutinin contain a 18 subtype. Neuroaminidase play an important role in the whole replication of the cycle of the virus, which has been attractive therapeutic target in the field of the antiviral influenza drug. We have two drugs approved, uh, ozertimavir and zanamavir, and both of them is uh, for treatment and prophylaxis of infection, virus A and B, and uh, it's considered as a neuroaminidase inhibitor. Uh, ozertimavir is uh, orally and bioavailability uh, 18 uh, and uh, in the recent uh, the ozertimavir show some resistance which is called in one h 274y mutant therefore there is urgent need to develop a new generation of the neuroaminidase inhibitor to solve this problem or issue uh, zanamavir is a sialic acid analog uh, which is considered as the neuroaminidase inhibitor uh, and is administrated for the respiratory tract by inhalation uh, and in spite of the influenza A and B and bioavailability is 4 to 17 okay uh, and uh, in, the, in the below we show the ozotimafir and zanamafir structure uh, and in the right uh, the below picture we show uh, this is virus uh, which is presented by the blue and uh, the, the membrane of the of the of the host cell uh, and we as we see the virus is come to the cell membrane and bind by the hemagglutinin to the sialic acid sialic acid which is presented by the green color uh, and after they are bind together uh, the virus is, uh, go inside the cell and uh, replicate uh, and then go out and here uh, the come the neuroaminidase uh, and uh, as you see in the second picture the neuroaminidase is uh, has uh, like a teeth in mouth and come to the sialic acid uh, and cut it uh, and after this uh, as you see in the third picture the white blood cell come and uh, kill all the virus Okay, in this slide, I will explain the drug resistance of ozeltimavir. Uh, as you see in the image A, the neuroaminidase active site changes his shape to create a bucket for ozeltimavir. Where is the uh, active site of zanamavir without it change because zanamavir is considered as a sialic acid analog. Uh, and in the image B, show a mutation which is prevent the binding of ozeltimavir by preventing the formation of this bucket and in the image C, uh, the first uh, image below is, uh, show uh, the normal uh, amino ozotimafir bind uh, to, the, to the active site because amino acid 
is make a rotation and uh, make a fit active site for Ozertimafir. And the second image is Zanamafir, with this it's normal without any uh, any rotation uh, of uh, amino acid. And the third image, which is important, uh, represents the Ozertimafir resistance. When the Ozertimafir come, the amino acid uh, or the mutation of the H274Y inhibit the rotation and prevent the bucket from forming and which is result in the resistance of ozotimapir and finally it's 100 274y mutation caused 12000 and 7500 fold reduction in neuroaminidase inhibition for ozotimapir uh, now i find i finally uh, finish my part uh, if you have any question, please contact with the leader group. Thank you all. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am Maad Ali Sufiani from Group 2. Uh, first of all, I will talk about the uh, discovery of novel dual uh, site of binding of Zeltamafir uh, as a body to influenza virus A. And second, I will talk about discovery of new cavities to inhibit mutation uh, H274 uh, and H275Y. Mutation. In the first, I will explain uh, neuroamidine subtypes. We have nine subtypes divided into two groups, group one and group two. Uh, the di difference between group one and group two show by X-ray crystallography the 150 loop. In the group one, it's open conformation, and in the group two, it's closed conformation. We can see here in the uh, figure two, can see the group one, it's uh, open and group 2 it's closed uh, this uh, neuron is uh, 09 in 1 it's closed uh, it's from group 1 but it's similar to group 2 because it's exception uh, in the second i will uh, recognize the cavity to inhibit uh, mutation we have three cavity one, 150 cavity and uh, uh, 430 cavity and 371 cavity in this picture we can see the actual site uh, active site and uh, here uh, the by pink uh, 371 cavity and by red uh, 437 cavity and by green 150 cavity this is our target for inhibition the virus uh, the resistant virus and uh, how substitution uh, to act in this cavity in the ozeltamavir if substitution in five uh, carbon we act in 150 cavity if uh, substitution in group uh, in carbon uh, number one we act in 371 and for for 430 cavity okay and uh, it's increased the derivative, our derivative increased by nearly tenfold uh, compared by ozeltamafir. We can see here the derivative uh, from ozeltamafir. And thank you. In this slide, I will explain and discuss our ozeltamafir derivative in details. We have six uh, derivative from ozeltamafir uh, and called this derivative gimmick 01 to gimmick 06 and this derivative act in group 1 and group 2 the derivative act in group 1 it's gimmick 01 and gimmick 02 and gimmick 03 and gimmick 04 the gimmick 05 and 6 act in group 1 and group 2 this uh, derivative we can see here in the pictures gimmick 01 it's derivative by phenyl in carbon 5 and gimmick 02 thiophene 2 eel in the carbon 5 and gimmick 03 uh, phenyl sulfanyl in carbon number 5 and gimmick 04 thiophene 2 eel uh, sulfanyl and this act in group 1 and discuss the group 1 and group 2 in the previous slide and we can see uh, inhibit concentration 50% uh, of the derivative compared by zeltamafir its ferry potency and more uh, inhibition on the resistance uh, compared by zeltamafir and in the lower 
of the picture we can see gmx05 and gmx06 uh, the derivative is phenyl diethyl amino in the carbon number 5 and in the gmx06 pyrrolidine 1 eel uh, and we can see uh, in the lower uh, ac50 per ac50 uh, on the virus resistance compared by zoltamivir uh, it's very potency like uh, 5 times uh, and act in group 1 and group uh, 2 neuroamidinase in this slide uh, i will talk about uh, covid-19 and uh, their symptoms and i will talk about treatment of the covid-19 covid-19 it's uh, known by sars cov 2 virus it's a new strain uh, from coronavirus uh, not been uh, previously identified in the human and this virus has higher transmission rate than SARS cov uh, It causes acute uh, respiratory distress syndrome and high morbid morbidity and mortality, uh, such as Middle East respiratory syndrome and severe acute respiratory syndrome. Common symptoms: it's a fever, dryness, dry cough. Some people may be experience itches and pain and nasal congest. Uh, and runny nose, sore throat, diarrhea, more severe cases, it's uh, infection causes pneumonia in the early patient and chronic condition uh, may inhibit COVID-19. Uh, one, hydroxychloroquine, it prevents SARS-CoV-2 to binding to uh, ACE2 receptor by, in the, on the lung by blocking uh, binding of SARS-CoV-2 uh, to the silic acid. We can see the GIF, uh, the receptor, AC2 receptor, and SARS-CoV-2, it's bind to receptor and enter the cell of the lung. We have a new vaccine, vaccinations, that uh, may be inhibition and prophylaxis against SARS-CoV-2. It's a ch uh, chimpanzee, uh, adenovirus, uh, Exford, uh, vaccine for uh, COVID-19. Uh, uh, it's uh, discovered by University of Ex uh, Oxford uh, and uh, used to against coronavirus. Uh, it's uh, attitude uh, adenovirus capable to producing speak protein. It's speak protein. It's in the surface of the coronavirus. Uh, and uh, formation uh, antibody against uh, SARS-CoV-2. And thank you for all. Any question can ask uh, group leader. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Faris Bender Badia. Today I'm going to talk about antiviral activity which include derivatives of oseltamivir and other drugs another drug like uh, remdesivir antiviral generally oseltamivir and zanamivir they have strong effect on uh, uh, wild type of influenza subtype first of all i will talk about three major groups derivatives of oseltamivir let's talk about the first group which is methyl aryl group methyl aryl group is a derivative, a first group, first group of uh, seltamivir derivative, like in pictures 2A and 2G. The more with electron withdrawing group on meta position or para position, that leads to reduced activity against H5N1 influenza, which leads to decrease the effect than uh, seltamivir. When they will do the replacement with bara position with bromine, that enhance little improvement antiviral than other derivatives of oseltamivir. Now I will talk about second group of oseltamivir derivatives. The second group, which is 2-phenyl probine. At C5 in H2 position of oseltamivir, all these derivatives with this group reduce when compared to oseltamivir except 11A. 11A structure is similar activity with oseltamivir 
activity. And the second thing, like in pictures, that 11E is important for wild types of influenza, especially in group 2 neuroaminidase 2, which uh, is similar to oseltamivir activity. And another point, which is uh, when we add when they add acyl or sulfonyl at position C5, NH2 with aromatic lichen pictures 13A and 70A that leads to a loss of activity which very sharp reduce of activity. Now I will talk about third group and last group derivatives of oseltamivir which is by aryl methyl substituted and this group have specific inhibition of uh, group one of influenza like uh, h5n1 influenza and h5n8 this is group one of influenza and like in pictures 9f and 9g uh, they have poor activity with group 2 because they have because group 2 have closed loop finally I will talk about second part which is remdesivir antiviral is a broad drug which inhibit viral RNA polymerase and broad spectrum antiviral broad spectrum antiviral and inhibit inhibit wild types of virus like coronavirus SARS-CoV and Middle East respiratory syndrome and remdesivir has in vitro testing that have an activity against SARS-CoV-2 and some studies that reveals that remdesivir has clinical benefit with COVID-19. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ma'akum Usama al-Malki. Leon bitkallam an 371 cavity. This cavity is found in the uh, virus and several types of the virus. 371 cavity. This cavity is located near S1 region. This cavity is hydrophobic cavity. The elongated group at the carbon 1 position will project toward this cavity and the cavity can interact with the hydrophobic substitution. Therefore, the addition of lipophilic substitution with the new active cavity to let the listed neuromatase inhibitor can lead to additional interaction and increase the inhibitor effect on the virus and also improve the liability of the compound as well as the absorption of the drug. Therefore, it is necessary to develop a potent neuromidase inhibitor acting on the new active site near the S1 region. The H275Y mutation. This mutation is the most common mutation converting the astronomy resistance in, the, in one subtype of the influenza. And this Mutation is a replacement of the histine residue by a bulk tyrosine will cause a collapse of the salt bridge between glutamine 276 and arginine 224 to reduce the affinity with the hydrophobic 3 pentyl mucin in the ostelomavir. It's a change in the amino acid from histine to tyrosine at position 275. Uh, of neuromatous gene uh, this is this the most common mutation like we say this mutation also allow the mutants to infect the cell five times more rapidly and this picture will uh, see the difference between the wild type and the mutant now we will see the derivatives as influenza neuromatous inhibitor like acetylomavir hydroxymate and acyl sulfonamide the carboxylate group of the acetylomavir provides strong electrostatic interaction with the three arginine residue, arginine 118 and arginine 292 and arginine 371 in the S1 side of the influenza neuromidate. An analog of the acetylomavir with the amino group at the carbon 5 is replaced with more 
basic one the results in increase of the neuromyelitis inhibitor activity but it's not have been developed for therapeutic use because it has poor pharmacokinetic activity and by replacement of the carboxylic group in the acetylmavir with a phosphate congener like 3A or TAMI phosphor show remarkable neuromyelitis inhibition and anti influenza activity as expected at TAMI phosphor or quinetine TAMI phosphor like 4A and it's monoester for example 4P and 4C that show even better inhibitor activity against human influenza virus including the drug resistance H275Y3 the hydroxymic acid the BKA is 8.5 is weaker than the carboxylic acid BKA 4.7 where a size of white pka 5 to 6 has the acidity close to that the carboxylic acid the the hydroxymate group in the 7a and 70 and the size of white group in 10a and 10d contain more electron negative atom and direct hydrophobic alkyl substituting that may exert additional interaction with the influenza in A in uh, S1 site. Compound 9B to 9D and 12A to 12D were also prepared by guanidation of 8B to 8D and 10A to 10D respectively for conversion of the bioactivity. Now we will see oscillomavir carboxylic acid bioesterase, hydroxamic acid, uh, editing of alkyl subunit at the O atom of the hydroxamate multi like 7B and 7D presented better influenza and neuroamidase inhibitor activity than 7A. And the best inhibitory is 7D. It's shown close activity to oscillomavir again is the wild type H1N1 uh, the hydroxymate less acidic to exhibit extensive hydrogen bonding interaction with the 3 arginine residue and the phenol, phenol group in the neuroamidase active site Assalamu alaikum, my name is Majid Tayyib and today we will be talking about oscillomavir carboxylic acid by stress by replacing the carboxylic group with hydroxymate we found that it showed much less inhibitor activity because hydroxylic acid was less acidic to attain strong interaction with the three arginine residues in the S1 side of the influenza in A and the best one of the four was 7D which is CH232 indole and just so uh, similar activity to the original carboxylic acid of the thermovir. after that we replaced the uh, minor group with the more specific gonadine and we compare the 9D with the 7D and chose similar inhibitor activity but 9D which is uh, the, with the granadina uh, base group to have a higher IC value than 7D I guess while type H1 virus uh, for any reason but both of compounds display equal inhibition activity against the mutation the H275Y mutation strain it was noted also that uh, the, uh, the hydroxamate 9B and 9D were effective to protect the cell against infection of the H275Y mutant. The next biostress is acyl-sulfanamide. The first acyl-sulfanamide with methyl showed a multi inhibitor activity against both the wild type H1N1 and the mutation H275Y French virus. However, the next one, which is 10B, bearing a trimethyl trifluoromethyl substitute decreased the NA inhibitor activity by 5 to 70 folds relative to the normal uh, It was also noted that uh, by having a particular butyl or phenyl substitute caused decrease in the activity. By replacing the amino group with the collagen more basic group, 12A and 12D showed more inhibitor activity against the wild type H1 in one viruses. However, only compound 12A, which is a methyl, showed somewhat better activity than the original 
Star of Africa plus Lika set against the guest against the H275Y mutation of the H1N1 virus. This table will see compression between the original carboxylic staminophere against its biosterase. Carboxylic staminophere had 1.78 inhibit concentration against the wild type and 260 against the mutation. And the 7D showed a close activity, 7D and 9B show, both showed close activity in the normal type or, or wild type, as you can see 6.4 and 6.8, but it was uh, weaker in the mutation. After that is the 10A, which is showed a modest inhibitory activity against the, wild, uh, against the wild type, but very weak activity against the, well, against the mutation. Also, there is a, uh, the team B, which is the, weak, the weakest one was, and chose 1,203 against the wild type and had no effect on the mutation. The last one, which was 12A, which, was, which is the one that we say that is the best one, which shows a, a little, better, little bit better activity than the uh, original one in the, against the mutation, as you can see, it shows 19.5. But I guess what type is 20. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Khalid Hassan Ghanemi from Group 2. I'm going to talk about 1, 2, 3, triazole ostimifer. It's one of alternative drugs for ostimifer. It's used for influenza and anti resistance of ostimifer. It's targeting uh, 430 cavity. First of all, from what we understood in this presentation, according to X ray crystal. Crystal of neuroamidase studies shows two new loops of neuroamidase, which is 150 and 430, both act as a binding site. I will, I will do small compare between them. First, closed state. 150 has a closed state, so, not, so cannot influence by the drug. And 430 is always stable and open, so can influence by the drug. 150 it's act only in group number one and 430 is act in both group number one and group number two so we conclude the modification of drug that targeting 430 is more better prospect than drug that targeting 150. secondly i'm gonna compare between two drugs first ostomerfer carboxylate is targeting 150 and 1, 2, 3 triazole stomifer targeting 430 is both anti resistant and increase the affinity. But the main difference here is ostomifer carboxylate cannot exist as a broad spectrum because it only acts in group number 1. In 1, 2, 3 triazole ostomifer, it's considered as a broad spectrum because act in both group number 1 and group number two. In this slide, I'm trying to explain why we choose triazole and their position. We choose the position of triazole, which is carbon number one, to make the drug more selective to 430. And we choose a triazole because one, increase the rigidity and the stability and make more hydrogen bond and make more suitable length about 5 and strom. Finally, I'm going to talk about some modification of 1, 2, 3 triazole ostomifer. The modification mainly occur in our position or in the carbon between amine and triazole. I have three examples. First one, add a prom atom in atomic and aromatic ring in position para, as shown in compound A. It increases the activity, but when it change the position of brom to meta or ortho, <coughs> it decreases the activity, or it changes the brom to natrile or phenoid. It's also decrease the activity. In uh, and thank you for your time.
I hope you find it helpful. If you have any question, I hope you throw, send it through a group reader.